gentlemen very much. Tom Conklin, how are you, sir? Please introduce me to your friends. Over here we have Ken Greer. Hi, wizard. Ken. Nice to have you with us. Buried in the back. The wizard, all right, next. Rob Baker. He has no nickname. On a trap. None at all, all right. Uh, let's jump right here. Jeff Jones. Hi, Jeff. Welcome aboard. All right. Back here we have John Webster on keyboards. All right, thank you, John. Was I right at somewhere around 76, 77, though you joined late. Yeah. Jeff and I joined around 78. Were we just hanging around and they discovered you or what? Well, basically, yeah, they, they couldn't pass up the talent, I mean. <laughs> Has he always been this Nick modest? Nolte and uh, yes. Eddie yes. Murphy of rock and roll here. I want to ask you a question now. Tell me about the bus getting stuck. I mean, has this happened to you guys often? Well, it took us 16 hours, I guess, to get uh, to LAX from LA. <laughs> so I mean, this, this, it's about a 35-minute trip here. Do you always travel by bus? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore? Not after the bus left you in the lurch. No, for years, though, people, we used to travel. You know Bo Diddley. Oh, yeah. Bo and I used to drag around the country. We would do 60 to 80 to 90 one-nighters in a row, sleep in a hotel every other, other night. How many nights a week do, or a year do you stay out? Well, we, we're usually at about six months to eight months a year. Whew. You ever see home? Do you have a home? Yeah, I think it's somewhere between Winnipeg and Montreal. You know. in the sky there. And, and wherever you happen to, wherever the suitcase is, is it? Please tell me a little bit about the beginnings of this group. What, what was the inspiration to put it all together? I'd say, uh, well, I'd, the band was together before yeah. I joined, but uh, I had, uh, the ironic thing was I was living in Los Angeles and wearing out my knuckles, knocking on doors, came back to Toronto and saw the band downstairs at the Elma Combo, and we joined forces at that time and then came back here and signed a record deal. So I had to, it's like we had to go home to get uh, This is, you're an American, Jeff. Originally, how, yeah. how did you join up with these guys? Well, I'd been in Canada. I've lived in Canada for a number of years now. But Why is there so much music coming out from up north? Gee, that's a rough question. We get asked that a lot. I, I don't know. I think it's just basically that uh, a lot, a lot of times uh, Canadian people they have to struggle a little bit harder because keep they, warm. yeah, because <laughs> keep warm. You miss that to keep warm. Yes. Keep warm. No, because of the distance between places, a lot of performers they have to work hard in order to to stay afloat, and I think it comes through. Because that burning desire to get there, maybe. What's the next year going to hold for Red Rider? Things are going very well. Well, I just think that uh, we want to make more good records. You know, we want to keep touring and and playing one on one with the public. We call it one on one. You know. What's the best way to do it? The more they see you, the better.